Hi guys, we are making roasted garlic truffle mashed potatoes tonight and they are fabulous. So we'll get right to it. I'll tell you what I'm doing. I have already peeled and cubed three large potatoes and I boiled them until they were fork tender. And so basically that means that you can stick a fork in them and they're, they're very easy to stick the fork into. Very, very tender. So we did that. I heated up one cup of half and half. While the potatoes were boiling, I roasted a whole head of garlic. And all I did was take some foil and I put the head of garlic in there and cut off the top of the head of the garlic. And so, as you can see, the garlic is nice and soft. I like a lot of garlic, as you already know. So I'm going to use most of this head of garlic. I suggest, if you're not sure whether you like that much garlic, you use about six cloves of garlic. It makes the garlic very sweet very, very nice. So we've got about this much roasted garlic. Sometimes I'll even throw raw garlic into this while the potatoes are boiling, but today I wanted that roasted garlic taste. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in there. The potatoes are hot. I just drained them. So I used three quarts of water and I salted the water, put the potatoes in, and as I said, I boiled them until they were fork tender. I've got a half of a stick of butter, and we'll go ahead and put that in right there. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the warm half and half. Remember to heat your half and half, that way you don't lose the heat on the potatoes. It's easier to mash. And here we go, we're gonna go ahead and start mashing. Now it might like, seem like a lot of liquid, but it really isn't. Now we like our mashed potatoes with a little bit of texture. So sometimes um, I will use the blender, but tonight we are going to have a little bit, just a little lumpy, it's not gonna be that bad. So we've got this going. We wanna make sure we do incorporate all that garlic though. So we get that garlic mashed up. Beautiful, beautiful. So nice and fluffy. The stir. Remember to use extra large, large potatoes. All right, now we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of seasoning. We're going to use some freshly ground black pepper. We're going to put that in there. I like spice, so it's up to you what you want to use. A lot of people like to use white pepper in their mashed potatoes. You can do that also, or you can use a combination of white and black pepper. You can even put some jalapeno pepper in there if you want. So we've got this going, and then we're going to use a little bit under a cup of Parmesan cheese. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in there. Give that a stir. We don't need to mash that in, it's gonna melt. There we go. And we are going to use three to four ounces of the truffle. So I'm not going to put all that truffle in straight away though. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use part of it now. So we'll use a little bit right now and we'll blend that in. Beautiful. And then when I serve the mashed potatoes, I will go ahead and pour a little bit of truffle oil on each one. Let me give this a taste just to see how it's going. Oh, it is wonderful. Got a little texture, got a little heat to it with pepper, and that truffle oil makes it so nice and rich along with that cheese. So that's how you do it. This is what it looks like. It'll firm up a little bit more in a minute. And 
I hope you give this a try. The recipe will be on my food blog in a couple days. So give it a try and enjoy it with those steaks. Take care. Bye.